hey what's up guys in this video we're gonna see how we can add javascript into our web page so here we have one sample html file now to add the javascript so there is two way we can add javascript to the html file so we can use the internal javascript using the script tag or we can use some external javascript so first of all let's talk about the internal javascript so we can use the script tag and inside the script tag we can write our javascript like an example we can use document dot get element by id and here we can pass one id so first of all we're gonna add one id to the h1 tag like xyz and then we can target that element with the id xyz and then we can modify the style like we can modify the color so we have to write dot style dot color and we can modify the color of the h1 to green so if i just save and refresh the page so you can see the text color has not been changed that's because our javascript is executed before the h1 element is loaded that's why we are not having the expected result so to fix that we can put our script tag at the bottom of our body tag so now if we just refresh the page you can see the text color has been changed to green so this is always a good practice to put our script tag below the body tag this way we are making sure that all of the elements of the page will be loaded and then our javascript will be executed so we can put our script tag inside the head section or we can put that inside the body section and it is always recommended to put the script tag below the body tag this way we are making sure that all of the elements of our page will be loaded and then our javascript can perform some operation over those elements so this way we can have the expected result while executing javascript and there is another way we can add javascript to our html so we can use the external javascript like an example we can create one javascript so we're gonna create one new file i'm gonna call it myscript.js so we have created one javascript file now inside the javascript we can write our code document dot get element by id so we're gonna select the same id xyz and now we're gonna change the font style so we have to write dot style dot font family and we're gonna set the font family to monospace and if i just save that and now we have to link our external javascript into our html file so we're gonna use the script tag and then we have to use the source attribute and now here we have to specify the path to the external javascript file so we have to write dot slash myscript.js so now we're gonna save the file and refresh the page so you can see the font family is not changed that's because our javascript is executed before the h1 is loaded so to fix that we can put the script tag below the body tag so now we're gonna save the file and refresh the page so now you can see we have the font family of monospace so this is the way we can add the external javascript into our html file and there are so many advantages while using the external javascript so the external javascript is separating our html from the javascript code so you can see we have the javascript code separated from our html code and this way our html and the javascript gets easier to read and maintain so whenever we wanted to modify the javascript we can just go to the external javascript file and we can modify it in the external file and this will be reflected to all of the pages and also one of the major advantage is that the cached javascript will speed up the page load 
so this is the way we can use the script tag and we can add javascript into our html file so hope you understand the concept we'll see you in the next one thank you